Hi everybody, my name is Keith Nitka. I'm the Battleship Operations Manager here on board the Battleship Wisconsin. And today we're going to take a walk down into the Marine Detachment Birthing, or Mardet Birthing. It's a special behind the scenes look at a place that you don't normally get to see on board the ship. It's not part of any of the tours. So we're going to take a walk down there. The first thing I want to point out to you, however, is we're going to walk from the main deck where we are now, down this ladder. I want you to pay attention to how thick the deck is when you when you pass through this ladder. Then we're going to go through the galley area and we're going to go into the armored box. The armored box is specific to battleships. Inside the armored box is all the steering controls, all the medical equipment and the hospital, and then also the propulsion system. So everything that's got anything to do with steering or propulsion or medical is inside the armored box. So if you follow me, we'll take a walk down to Mardet Berthing. Here you can see how thick the deck is here. This is just an I-beam. This is the thickness of the deck. And then you can see here, this is the thickness of the top of the armored box. Okay, so here we are at the after end of Broadway. Broadway is the longest single stretch on board the ship, passageway-wise. It's on the other side of that watertight door. And back here, the after end of Broadway, inside the armored box, is where the Mardet lives, or the Marine Detachment. All battleships had a Marine Detachment on board. The Mardet, or Marine Detachment, here on board Battleship Wisconsin was here for two things. They were here to secure the weapons on board the ship, that includes the nuclear weapons that I can neither conform nor deny the presence thereof. The second reason they were here is to protect the officers from the crew. Dating all the way back to the days of uh, wooden ships and sail, uh, to protect the, the Navy from mutiny, Marines were kept on board capital ships to quell any mutiny that might happen. So even though it's not going to happen, they were still there for that reason. So again, this is Mardet birthing area. This is the passageway outside. If you take a, take a look around, we're actually going to take a walk into one of the birthing spaces. So here we are in the starboard side of the after uh, birthing area for the Mardet. That right there is a battle dressing storm room, and then this is a battle dressing area on board the ship. The, uh, there, there are many battle dressing areas throughout the ship. This is one of them here in the Mardet birthing. If you take a walk over here with me. that up because it's making a lot of noise. You can see the, the racks that the, that the Marines down here lived in, and you can also see the size of the lockers that they kept. Now the, uh, the Marines locker is larger than the basic sailor's locker, and the reason being is because on top of the regular uniforms and all their personal items that they had to keep they also had to keep what's, uh, what, what we refer to in the Navy as battle rattle, or all the battle gear. So all their Kevlar helmets and flak jackets and everything like that, they also had to keep with them. But that's why the, the Marine birthing has larger lockers than the standard Navy birthing. So again, this is the Mardet birthing on board Battleship Wisconsin. My name is Keith Nitka, and I thank you for visiting us today.